The square root algorithm of Alkashi. In this lesson, we will discuss only how the square root algorithm works, not the justification or proof for it. That will be the next lesson. Let's approximate the square root of 82,119. This method will always give us an underestimation. First, divide the number into cycles of 2. Thus, we have 8, 21, 19. Divide the cycles into columns. We will be obtaining part of our answer in the space above the columns. We begin from the left. To obtain the first digit, we must find the largest digit whose square is less than or equal to 8. The digit we are looking for is 2, and we place it above the 8. This is the first digit of the integer part of our answer. Square 2 and subtract it from 8, obtaining 4. Place 4 in the column below the 8. Place the 2 which we obtained earlier at the bottom of the column. Double the 2 and move it one space to the right. Now we will obtain the second part of the integer. First, move the 21 down so it is besides the 4. Then, multiply the 4 at the very bottom of the column by 10. Find the largest x, where 40 plus x times x is less than or equal to 421. x equals 8 is the number we are looking for, as x equals 9 is too large. 40 plus 8 times 8 is equal to 384. Place 8 above the columns. Subtract 421 minus 384, which is equal to 37. Place the 37 in the middle column. Place the 8 besides the 8 at the bottom of the column. Double the last digit and write 56 in the bottom column shifted one spot over. The number at the bottom, 56, is always going to be twice the integer. Bring down the 19. Now we will find the third part of our integer. First, multiply the 56 by 10. Then find the largest x so that 560 plus x times x is less than or equal to 3719. The number we are looking for is 6. 560 plus 6 times 6 is equal to 3396. Write 6 above the columns. Subtract 3719 minus 3396, which is equal to 323. Write 323 in the right-hand column. Bring the 6 down to the bottom besides the 56. Add 566 plus 6, which is equal to 572, and write 572 in the bottom column, shifted one spot over. Now, add 1 to 572, obtaining 573. Our answer to the approximate square root of... 82,119 is approximately 286 and 323 over 573. Let's look at another example. We will now find the approximate square root of 43,015. First, divide the number into cycles of 2. Thus, we have 4, 30, and 15. Divide the cycles into columns. We will be obtaining part of our answer in the space above the columns. Begin from the left. To obtain the first digit, we must find the largest digit whose square is less than or equal to 4. The digit we are looking for is 2, and place it above the 4. This is the first digit of our integer part of our answer. Square 2 and subtract it from 4, obtaining 0. Place the 0 in the column below the 4. Place the 2 which we obtained earlier at the bottom of the column. Double the 2 and move it one space to the right. Now we will obtain the second part of our integer. First, move the 30 down so that it is beside the 0. Then, multiply the 4 at the very bottom of the column by 10. Find the largest x where 40 plus x times x is less than or equal to 30. x is equal to 0. Place x above the columns. Subtract 30 minus 0, which is equal to 30, and place 30 in the middle column. Place 0 besides the 4 at the bottom of the column. Add 40 plus 0, which is equal to 40, 
and write the 40 at the bottom column shifted one spot over. Bring down the 15. Now we will find the third part of our integer. First, multiply the 40 by 10, then find the largest x so that 400 plus x times x is less than or equal to 3015. The number we are looking for is 7. Thus, 400 plus 7 times 7 is equal to 2894. Write 7 above the columns. Subtract 3015 minus 2894, which is equal to 121, and write 121 in the right hand column. Bring the 7 down to the bottom besides the 40. Add 407 plus 7, which is equal to 414, and write 414 in the bottom of the column shifted one spot over. Now, add 1 to 414, obtaining 415. Our answer to the approximate square root of 43,015 is approximately 207 and 121 over 415. Now, try some examples on your own. Using Alkashi's method, find the approximate square root of 369,664 and 519,000.